never thought about becoming a pet psychic as like a career. It literally just like fell into my lap. For as long as I can remember, I've always been able to communicate and understand what pets were thinking. They communicate with me just like people. But when I was little, it didn't go over too well. Just people just thought I was kind of crazy. I have clients all over the world, obviously can't get to me all the time and I can't get to them, so I do telephone sessions. When I go see clients, it's called on-site energy work. So that is starting at $250 an hour and then it goes up if, depending how far I have to travel. I'm also a medium, so I can communicate the same whether the animal is present or past. But it doesn't really matter where you are or where your pet is, the connection always comes from the heart. I can always connect anywhere. I communicate what people want their pets to know and what their pets want people to know. He's talking about he doesn't like it when he gets the flea baths or something. Oh, yeah, no. So, and he showed me that like happened like a couple days ago. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And he's saying like it like stings a little bit. And also when you snore, he, he, did, he didn't know if you were like yelling at him or if that was like... Right. People, they want their pet to do certain things or want to know why they do certain things and so I can communicate that to their pet and also get the pet's point of view communicated back to the human so that there's more of an understanding and it helps enhance their relationship. And then he's also letting me know that you're feeding him under the table so like your wife doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> so that's like your new thing. Yeah. We, we won't tell anybody. It's great that I live in Los Angeles. The film industry and entertainment industry is here. So I find myself on set a lot with clients, celebrities. You know, it's really interesting in working with the animal actors. You know, I've done readings with a lot of horses for a lot of movies that require a lot of activity with the horses. Cougars. <laughs> I'm brought in for that, to help whatever's going on. I think it's really healthy for people to have some kind of skepticism. So you can also call it discernment. So. I don't argue with anyone. I'm not trying to convince anyone that I can do something that I can do. But I think like the funniest thing when I meet people and they want to test me, like, I'm not gonna tell you anything. I said, good, I won't tell you anything either. <laughs>